Knock, knock. Who's there? You're listening to The Goose is Loose. Blow your brains out. Two, two, two. Check your mic there, Carol. Oh. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to go here in two, three, four. All right. Yeah. Here we go. The Goose is Loose, everybody. Sweet. Knock, knock, who's there? It's Brady the Goose knocking back. Welcome to Goose's Loose, the podcast on the computer. We're in the future. It's 2014. Summertime is here. And we're rocking and rolling the comedy with a capital C. Yeah. Catch my breath. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning into the show, everybody. It's Freddy the Goose Knocking Box. This is the Goose is Loose radio podcast. Super popular podcast. And we have a special guest today. Big time guest, everybody. Hope you're having a good time. A great summer. You're out there getting tan. Having some beers. Because I am. I'm three sheets to win. Just kidding. I am free from the addiction. I am free from the demons. And I'm here to make you laugh with the one, the only, Carol Lundquist. Hello. That's her. Oh, you th- good to be here. <laughs> I'm, it's good to have you. So, yeah, I want to debunk the rumors right away. All, everybody, this is Snopes basically right now. She's not passed away. There was no motorcycle accident. There wasn't. I got a scratch, but it's because I tripped on my steps to my deck. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You hear that? She's here in the flesh. Yeah. Don't drink too much Bartles and James, kids. That's the lesson in that one. Yeah, (laughs) get on your Kawasaki. Oh, God. Flying through the Dells, and next thing you know. Don't do it. You can do it on your jet ski. Don't do it on the motorway. (laughs) Because then you'll be on the uh, internet. Classic 80s comedian wiped out on the highway, folks. I love the attention. I can't lie. (laughs) (laughs) It's good to have you here. Thanks. Are you happy to be here? Oh, my God. Let me tell you, I I thought I could take the segue here. I got halfway here. I had to turn around. There are too many other colored people. I'm just joking. <laughs> I love it. See where she's going with that, folks? It's the edgy Carol Lundquist on the podcast. You know where you love her from the uh, films we did together in the 80s. Uh, mm-hmm. Say it with me. Crappy family trip, everybody. That's right. Woo. You got it on Betamax. You got it on Laserdisc. You've seen it 100 million times. We did one, two, and five. We did. It was a good time. And uh, I thought I'd have you on the podcast. We'd just uh, reminisce, see what you're up to now, see what's going on, and compare notes. It's good. That's what kids love these days. So they want the old comedians to come out and dish the dirt. Do they? Yeah. All right. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> You sound uh, you sound good. You look good. You, you happy? Thanks. Yeah. All just, right. I uh, just took my blonde pill, so I'm uh, hot to trot. What does that mean? Ah, uh, the roots. You oh. get older. Oh. <laughs> it's the the the, the female humor. Uh, I was a fan. You should be a fan too. Kotex. Mm, don't need them anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're that old. Burn. We're that old. <laughs> Burning nature. Mother nature. Mm. Taking it. Taking it. I love it. So let's just get into it. Uh, they are talking to us day in, day out on the email. They are saying, Goose, mm-hmm. Carol, we need you to reboot this. I know. What are we going to do? How are we going to play this? We, we need some money. Well, <laughs> we've done golf. We've done Indeed. boat trips. We've done Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. The Dells. Uh, we even went to Old Mexico Way. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I like that one. I don't know what's left, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm up for being in the mall, but uh, there are so many mall f- films. How do you reinvent that? I think we could do the mall. We could do family, crappy family trip to the mall of America. Oh, one kid's on the roller coaster. The other one's at Zales. You know, is, is dad going to buy her the ring? Oh, he's having an affair with the pretzel girl. <laughs> there you go. You got the first beat down. Got it. I will e back Mr. Rosenberg and say, we have an idea. If you want to uh, have a meeting, buy us a nice dinner. Yeah, tell him it's Kanish girl, and then he'll buy it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what does that mean? He's likes coins. <laughs> okay. 
I see where you're going with this. Carol, I'm going to steer you clear of that territory. Sorry. We are in Brooklyn. It's a it's a beautiful place. Uh, it's not the old Midwest, which is you where know, we I, both started. I see, I we see both a started. fresh Midwestern face, rosy cheeks, yeah. ready for the beach. And I just go there. You know, I've been I've been back in the Midwest for so long now. Hollywood, New York. Ah, show business. I forget. You, you know, forget, you forget there, there are boundaries that we have to. You sound like you're at Perkins and you're like, look at these weirdos. I want come. my cream corn. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They, they come Tastes in good on my tongue. Come in. They smell like the garlic and the different mm -hmm. you know, uh, spices. And it's like, you got to smell like cheese potatoes here, folks. I want some cream of celery soup with some tater tots. Uh, crushed potato chips on you, top you of take, that casserole. You take that orange packet from the mac and cheese and you pour it on top. And then you, you put ketchup on it. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up good. Sometimes I just drink that packet and I cough so much. Oh, yeah. We used to do that on the set, too, folks. We're going to go behind the scenes right now. Here we go. Crappy family trip one. Carol and I, we're, this is the Mexico. We went to Mexico. It's like vacation if you didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was Chevy Chase, whatever. I, we did it first. It came out and no one really paid attention, but that's their loss. So we're doing this, right? We're in Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. And we're, you know, Carol yeah. and I would like to party. We know how it works. We take some peyote, get on my motorcycle. We go out to the desert. We're tripping, blasting our stereo. So many colors. And we whip out the mac and cheese. Get the campfire going. Whip it up. Nothing like mac and cheese in the desert. But someone forgot the pan. So I'm using the head part of my sombrero. Turns out that's not made of metal. Hijinks ensue. It was funny. <sighs> it was funny because we were stoned to the bone. Stoned to the bone. And then, you know, I don't know if aliens helped us, but it was good mac and cheese. The rest of the evening, X-rated. Can't go there. X-rated. And let me tell you, I don't know if you guys have had a jalapeno before. That is an experience. I mean, I'm sorry. I love the peyote. I've stopped doing it since, but wow, mind-altering. <sighs> I love it. I love it. That you know, this is Carol's classic stand-up uh, routine. You, you can find it on YouTube. I did a lot of food material back then. It was good. It's good. So we did the that, you know that was a little insight into the the movie, and uh, they're rebooting it. We're really excited. I, I was good to find Real. you on LinkedIn, and I was like, mm -hmm. boom, there's Carol. Let's have her over. See what's going on. I uh, I got so many invitations from you. They just kept coming until I said okay. <laughs> We get it, Goose. Yeah. You're lonely. Uh, I'm not. I'm just drunk. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not supposed to go on the internet drunk. That's what uh, Goose Jr. tells me. And I say, get out of my house. You're not yeah. paying for this. Get away from me. And I won't. And then I take Ambien and I do it. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> what I don't remember. Ambien. Thank God for Ambien. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. That's the, that's the sound I make after I snort it because I don't like to swallow. Carol crushes it up. I got a small throat. <laughs> Tell me about it. Burn. Burn. Oh, don't swallow. <laughs> family, crappy family trip. That, remember do, the song? Crappy family trip. Whoa. Driving in interstate station wagon with our crappy kids. And we're going to the desert in Mexico. I want to reboot this. I want to call Rosenberg. I just want to, I want to say, he, you, you can't get us over the barrel, buddy. No. We, I have a hot podcast. I have a hot co-star, Carol, and you're not going to screw us up like you did the other three times. No. I'm, what, what, uh, who are they fooling? We get the residual checks. We get 10 cents for this, that. Uh, come on. Put it on iTunes. I mean, my whole wardrobe is Talbots now. You know, it's like I am a classy lady. Exactly. I see you again. You're a classy guy. Big time. Who do they think they are? They're going to be broke when we're done with them. I say... Let's do grown kids. Okay. Grandparents. We've yes. got an Econoline van. It's got one of those video screens. Okay. And then the video screen goes out, and we all have to talk to each other. Brilliant. This is why I work with you, Carol. You got it's, the noodle. No, yeah. Let's brainstorm. Okay. I'm, I'm going to write it down and put it on my idea pad. And then I'm going to write an email and send it to Rosenberg. I didn't know it. you knew how to write. Oh, yeah. I used to get love letters from this guy. Oh, yeah? You act like you don't know. What? <laughs> in pencil and crayon. Anything he could find. He's telling me how much he loved working with me. It was fun. I bet you forgot about that. This guy used to be a total load, guys. Big load. Total load. 
I don't know if you, I'm sure you guys have had cocaine on the coast, but Midwestern, it is, it's pure, it's pure tide. So you've got this kind of foggy feeling and you just pass out and then you write letters. How many do you still have these? You didn't bring any, I hope not. I decoupaged a box and I keep them in there. You did. But it's too much weight for my suitcase. Okay, yeah. TSA is going to go through it. What's this crap? What's this crap? We're just going to throw it away. It's written on a, a piece of butter paper. And Holiday Inn stationery. Blah, blah, blah. I don't. I can't read because I'm in the TSA. Because the bad people are coming. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that could be part of the, the story, too. So, you know, we have to, like... Uh, Deal with border pro- uh, crossing and homeland security. I love it. Just some very modern, elements, yeah. very current. Put that down too in the idea of Yeah, Yes, so we did one, two, and four, and then uh, I had my accident, flipped my Corvette, and uh, kind of disappeared for a while. And uh, it's tough. Yeah, and I'm not sure who came to see me in the hospital. Who did? I'm not going to put it on you. I was there. Oh yeah. I didn't realize you didn't remember. Uh, I think I remember you being there for sure. I brought you Toblerones every day. Oh. I painted your toenails and then I took it off before you woke up so you wouldn't be embarrassed. Oh dear. I read Uh, those letters uh, to you. Don't get emotional, (laughs) Carol, because we're on a comedy (laughs) podcast. People want drama, but they don't want that much drama. Ah, I'm back. Okay, she's just fooling with me. I remember you were there. Yeah. You'd spoon feed me the old, you know, uh, uh, Honey Nut Cheerios and sing songs. It was a good time. Your faves. Yeah. Sing you some uh, Brandy. Yeah. Such a fine girl. Love that tune. Oh, I think that's what got you through. I always said that. You're right. No, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. So I appreciate the help. Mm -hmm. I owe you a lot. That's why I want to, you know, get you in on this, this reboot. Thank you. And we're going to be superstars again. Get all the tide we want. <laughs> and all these stupid kids with their dumb oh. movies and their dumb video games will be like, whoa, I've never seen this. And their parents will be like, these are the real deal. This is the real deal. And we'd go to the drive-in and we'd drop acid and watch these two laugh, You're going to be knee-deep in gash, let me tell you. You said it, not you're, me. You're going to be back. <laughs> I Guys, this, this guy was a lady killer. I did it. She said it, not me. This was before AIDS, all right? Before HIV. Oh, we didn't know. We didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. What's a rubber? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, smell my fingers, smell my both hands, my fists, and my feet. You exactly. know, I mean, it was it smell was my breath. wild. Burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good times. Good there times. was that one time we were doing uh, number five. Yep. And, yeah. And uh, we were at the White House. Mm. Oh, yep. This one. Right, right, right. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Ronald Reagan is, you know, he's like, oh, this is the Lincoln bedroom and da 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 da. Jelly beans, jelly beans. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they, they left us alone. I just, yeah, you know, I went down on Carol in the Lincoln bedroom and it was pretty good. Did you? All right, we're going there. Guys, it was the hottest lick I'd ever had. I'm not going to lie. And you know what? We talked about doing it again and I just said, you know what? It's like, you have the best taste of something, you never want to do it because it's going to, you never, because <laughs> it's going to disappoint you. <laughs> Ladies, you're making a mistake if you, if you deny this man. <sighs> I mean, the only rush I get that's even close to that is going in my motorboat and just driving across the lake at 50, maybe even 60. It's true. Pretty hot guys, right? That's why they call me the goose, all right? I'm not up some fat nerd playing video games, getting on stage going, I can't talk to women, da 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 No. You write a script, you get on stage, and you rock and roll. Mastermind. Then you go to the Lincoln bedroom, and Mary Todd's ghost says, what's going on here? Oh, my God. Who's this fat chick? Get out of my head. I'm trying to go down. <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to get there, Mary. <laughs> and I did. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was a good time. So that's a little, uh, you know, fun 
background things, uh, you know, if you try in life, if you put your mind to what you want, because, you know, you know, this is a secret of reality is that uh, imagination creates reality. You can have whatever you want in life if you try, if you dream it, if you think about it, and the universe will give you the tools to actually make it happen, and uh, that's why you should turn your TV off and drop out of sit in the woods. Maybe go out there with a gal and use sex magic, and then you can get whatever you want. Okay, we'll be right back after this commercial break of the Goose Loose Podcast with Carol Lundquist and me, Louie Branza. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're listening to The Goose is Loose. Blow your brains out. Two, two, two. Check, check. Carol, we're back. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah? Yep. It is great, isn't it? Oh, and we were having a good time there. We're uh, talking some more uh, stories. Can't really share them because there are lawsuits out there. And, uh, it's we, true. We want to keep those to ourselves. Yep. But uh, yeah, again, I, I would go online. I would find Carol's albums. Uh, it's all about me. That's a good uh, one from 87. Yep. It's my favorite. Talk so. a lot about, you guessed it, myself. Yep. That's what it's about. She started it all. She was with Sarah Silverman way before Sarah Silverman. Oh, but I looked like Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> Let me tell you. She did. Got a hot cover, if anything. You guys should check it out. Listen to it, Way too, hotter though. than her, though. She's from Australia. Oh. You're 100% American. 100%. Yeah. Big time. So, yeah, check out that. You can probably find it and uh, roll a fat one and smoke it up and listen to it. Cause, <sighs> On top of the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's still the best surface, I got to say. Yeah. It's a good picture. It's uh, all about you. It was one of those, you're like on the, the, the hood of the Corvette there. Kind of, you know... Terry Gar wishes she was me. Oh That's, yeah, she does. Do you remember that whole that whole thing? Yeah, you know, I didn't mean to hit her that hard, but it was like she, she was pulling on your hair and scraping your eyes. I was like, "You're not in this movie because you're a freak." So get out of here, Terry. Yeah. Oh God, she wanted to be the Caldern mom so bad. It's like you were already in Mr. Mom. Leave us alone. Yeah, leave us alone. So many jealous people. So many jealous people. And then I go to parties and be like, "Oh, you hit Terry Gar." I'm like, "Well, she attacked the uh, you, you know, know my friend." And uh, well, and I don't know if you remember this because you were kind of in your deep party phase yeah you know where where where's the goose oh he's in the basement you know he's been there for four days so you can guess what he's doing yeah playing pool but, p- p- right playing pool but you know i mean during that time i was i i could be seen with sinbad you know kind of had that you got to do it once you got to go with a, a, a ethnic guy that was awkward because i'm pretty much funnier than that guy but uh, yeah well he had cooler clothes <laughs> okay fine but Terry Gar just hated me for that. And I don't know if they had a thing or... And, and let me say, I didn't punch her in the face or anything. I just like... No, you know. no. You just threatened to. And oh, I made contact. It was like in the belly. Well, you threw a Pepsi at her face, yeah. you know. That was when they had bottles. So yep. there, there was glass involved. But tough. Still a nice guy. Guy's still a nice guy. Indeed, indeed. And uh, so, yeah... Uh, Everything's going good. I, and you're not doing stand up now, though. You're you're just uh, kind of laying low in the Midwest. Laying low, um, you know. Every everything ebbs and flows, you know. So uh, I moved back. Okay. Live in Burnsville. Oh which wow! Is, you what know, a dump. Hey, you know we've got a great ranch house. We built out the back. Ranch in quotes. <laughs> right, right. Um, Over by Mills Fleet Farm. Get some tough skins you know, and your rifle. Get some mulch. Yeah. That's, that's where I'm at. You know, I'm gardening. I've got kids. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know what? Just give me one second because I just, I just remembered serious? something. I'm Are you sorry. for serious? I just, I just got to check back in at home. Okay, that's fine. I didn't realize you had kids. I thought this was like, you know, a weekend thing. And Just uh, hold, hold on. Okay. Okay. Hi, Brad. Hey, we're, we're here on the radio program. Brad. Carol's calling her kids. No, it's mom. It's mom. One of her dumb no. kids is named Brad. Oh. What a stupid name. Okay. Mm, I'm bad. Yeah. yeah. No, did you... Did the pool guy come? Oh, you got a pool. It's probably above ground. Burn. You need to open up the deck door. No, it's inside of... You got to go in the chest freezer. Sounds no, it's like pizza right, bagels. Folks? Come to New York. You Stay can't away. have chicken nuggets. No. Mm, yeah, chicken nuggets. 100% No, chicken, you got to right? save the dinosaur-shaped ones for the kids. No, because we're ba- we're babysitting this. You, he's mouthing you, off. You hang up. You hang up on your mom. I'm. S- Whoa. God, di- I'm sorry. What's wrong with your kids there? You what? know, I've got I've got three younger ones. Okay. And then I've got this a hole. 
<laughs> a-hole of a teen son. If you guys have teenagers, this... I just film material. <sighs> this kid is just... You know, he reminds, he reminds me of the movies. He does. You know, I mean, oh, uh, those hijinks, you do not know until you have a kid. And you go, what the fuck were you thinking? Ooh, whip bomb. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. But, but you had four? I have four. Why'd you do that? Is it Sinbad's kids? <sighs> Knock it off. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I got that bug that every woman talks about, and went to cosmetology school and everyone else was doing it and I met a really nice guy who was uh, in the wood tech program okay and big shooter you know he had a he had a boat and sealed the deal you, you were moist for weeks right oh, big old boat god weeks and then nothing <laughs> he's a good guy okay. he's a good guy all right Ted's a good man he uh had an accident and now he doesn't work so i uh oh great I sell mary Kay. <laughs> mary Kay, lady that's I'm... pretty sexy not are you kidding me no, i'm just i'm kidding everyone falls on hard times I'm, 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 I'm not trying to be mean i'm just saying that uh you know it's mary Kay, and you were like the hottest comedian ever now you're giving ted uh you know foot massage on the on the porch yeah on the divan that he bought me. Well, just stay here. Don't go back. Come on. Yeah. Don't. There's room here. Don't sprinkle that goose magic all over me. I'm just saying there's options in life. And, you know, kids, they're kind of dumb. They don't realize what's going on. Ted can deal with it. I'm sure he's hung like a freaking horse and that he can find someone in Burnsville. To... I've got security, okay? Oh. And that... And that is something I never had on the road, and you know it. Yeah, but what about adventure, Carol? What about adventure? I had adventure sleeping in my minivan going across the country. That's true. You're dropping uh, tabs of this and caps of that. Playing at the improv. Those you know. were good old days, but now you got, uh, what are their names? Uh, Oscar? Did you do old farm names? Oscar and... George. Yes, George. my grandfather. That's, uh, you know, that's sweet. I'm not going to make fun of that. And Christella, because I just, I love... All boys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All boys. Can well, you have to call them back, or when I mean, they hang up on you, you got to sh put your foot down. <sighs> Don't tell me how to parent. Oh, yeah. I have one <sighs> kid, and, uh, you know, we get into it. You know, we have our, our, our father-son weekends. We go oh, see yeah? Metallica, and we, you know... I didn't know you had a kid. Go to strip clubs, and, uh, you know... Share giving me crap about having kids. What's this? Well, I didn't raise him or nothing. He just showed up. He was like, I'm your kid. And I was like, I guess you're going to help me uh, unload all my props and you're going to collect the money. And uh, if someone gets mouthy, I'm sending you in first. But uh, we don't talk too much anymore. That's fine. You know, we did some fun things together and now he's just got a big attitude. And he's like, no, I, I, uh, can't be seen with you because you're a loser or whatever. Just, just one kid, huh? As far as I know, <laughs> that old joke. You uh, should take a look at my uh, my wallet here. What about your wallet? Open Who's it up. Oh, that's a cute kid. Look at that. It's my oldest, Brad. Oh, yeah. Look familiar? Not in the least. He looks kind of uh, mulatto, if you ask me. Yeah. He was at the uh, the lifeguard stand all summer. Oh, great. Does that nose, that hook nose look familiar? I don't know. I, uh, uh, ladies I, and gentlemen, I just uh, hey, what do you like to say that uh, uh, a little what? more happened hey. in the uh, Lincoln bedroom. What? I, uh, are you, okay, uh, hold on here, Carol. What are you doing here? This is my podcast. You know, I have this fun light. I think everyone should know. No, this is like a fun light thing. This is not like uh, Maury Povich. I think everyone should know. Everyone should know that you should be quiet that, right now. Uh, someone <laughs> who is hosting this show didn't return my calls. Oh, that's so, you know, passive aggressive, In Midwestern, like someone. The fall of 1987. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, six months later, uh, I had a premature child. You had a preemie. Boo hoo. Was it Sinbad's preemie? Hey, everybody, you have a preemie? You ever have a preemie, everybody? You knock out these girls on the road and you get a preemie? Don't do your defensive black talk. 
Works for Robin Williams. Works for me. I'm still working. I have a podcast. I get 30 Brad to 40 hits. It's your son. Okay. I'm going to cut this out so you can just let me have it if that's what you're thinking about doing here. Yeah. Miss Mary Kay. Oh, Barb, this looks good. Why don't you put uh, some purple with the pink and you won't look 500 pounds overweight? Yeah. You know what I did? What would you do? I didn't circumcise him just like you. Just <laughs> like his dad. Oh, no one wants to know that. They don't want to picture His my... hair gets kinky in the summer. Yeah, so? He has that eczema that you have. Never had that, ever. He has a penchant for drinking beer. Six months in, he was he was grabbing for my Molson, okay? So, what? I don't have any money to, you know, uh, this is not going to go on the air because I don't have any money to give you air if you're trying to blackmail me. I don't want me. your damn money. I want you to look at this life touch photo and I want you to admit that that is your son. Ooh. Uh, why? 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 Okay, first off, don't go, <laughs> don't go back. Don't go, what are you doing? You guys should have seen this a hole. He got so freaked out. What are you kidding me? I'm just joshing you. Oh, we. What the fuck, you idiot! I was always on the pill, guys. I was banging so many people. Like fuck I it. wanted to. Don't say this. You're not. Oh my god. What a t what a tool. You, yeah. You guys. He was shivering. He, he got all patchy and and red. Yeah. 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 I did because. Uh, maybe I loved you like uh, you were the only one and you shattered my heart forever by slobbering all over Sinbad's knob in oh. front of me and I got to watch this. Oh, one life dork. to live. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Men have feelings too, ladies. Hey, you ever notice that like you can just uh, give your whole life to someone and they walk all over your dick and you're supposed to be like, hey, it's all right. I'm just a man and uh, we're, you know, we're useless. We're just worker bees and uh, the whole culture is most, based on crushing men. Most womanly man I ever met. It was in bad, right? Burn, oh, got him. Burn, this guy, the goose, mm. used to cross stitch pillows for me. That shut up right Lord, now, Lord Byron. Shut lines. the freak up. What's that? What's that? That shut tiger the freak foam up. with the T Y G R. All night we're gonna shut the freak up mm -hmm. right now. Should work for Hallmark. All I have to do. Is whip it out and lick it, and you will shut up. Yeah, it's not that long. Okay. My tongue? Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. I know how to lick it and when to lick it, and that's what will shut you up. That's what shut you oh, up. Oh, are you talking to your bomb bomb pop? Yeah, you do, because it will start dripping all over your hand. What's that? What's a Wait, bum bum pop? Wait, maybe you could afford some AC. What, what's a bomb bomb pop? It's a popsicle. If you had kids, you'd know. Oh, wait. <laughs> You got the kids. I have an older adult who leaves me alone. And you have to make turkey nuggets for your, your snotty kids. Don't go back, Carol. Stay here. Just fucking stay here. I love you. Stay here. I don't know. Come on. I just, I can't. Fuck Ted. And let me fuck you. How about that? There's the offer. The goat. <sighs> We're going to get Rosenberg. He's going to give us millions of dollars. We'll travel the world. We'll fucking do acid. We'll I can't say I'm not tempted. Screwing all over the world as it falls apart because of ISIS and the CIA. And me and Carol won't care because we're high and drunk and we're making cool comedy movies. Don't go yeah. into that higher register. You know it makes me just come in my pants. You like it. Blow your brains out. Yeah, sure. We could be the next Johnny Cash and June Carter. And Let's do it. We could have a... We could have our name in lights again. People would know who we were. And we could have a variety show. It could be on Spike and, and Togo. Yeah. The, the gays would love me. You know they would. They would shower me with gifts and they'd love you by proxy. And, and I could have those, those loafers that are really hard to get and they only make in Brazil. And, and I, could, I could put diamond. You could have it all. Just don't go back. I could, I could bejazzle my... China, whatever color you wanted. I'll do it for you. Do it with my own mouth. I'd never have to talk to Ted again. And we could we could have a pool that was shaped like your penis. Perfect. Because it's perfect. I don't know. You know, you know it's in the stars. That's why you're here. That's why you came here. You're a Virgo. I'm a Pisces. It makes so much sense. 
I... Convince me. Huh? Look at me and convince me. I'm looking at you right now. Convince me with your words. You're so good at those. You're so good with your mouth. I think we're out of time, folks. We're going to have to shut <laughs> off the... Uh, just take your pants off. Take your pants off. We're going to have to I, shut off the uh, podcast. I can't get the zipper. No, I'll take it off for you, okay? And uh, we'll have some sound effects of me ripping your clothes off. And, uh, some music comes up here. Hey, folks. Carol Unquist is on the show. Thanks for... Just say your name so uh, we can yeah. do this. Carol. I'm Carol Unquist. All right. And uh, this has been The Goose. And uh, see us on the big screen and see Carol on her iTunes show or iTunes album. It's all about me, because it usually is. And it's going to be here in a couple seconds. Thanks again for this Goose Loose. Check out the Crappy Family Trip series. It's coming to you in a box set, Blizzard Disc. And it's going to be the big hit of the summer. Yeah! Thanks for tuning in. Bend over, bend over. Ready? Ah!